Alrighty guys, as we begin, I would like to ask that you all please remain seated with your hands, arms, and feet inside the boat at all times. And please do supervise your children. Thank you very much. Good afternoon and welcome aboard the Snow White. My name is Chris and I'll be your captain and storyteller today. How are we all doing this afternoon? Wonderful, how are you? Wonderful. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. <laughs> Well, I don't mean to spoil your day or anything, but it looks like we're about to be swallowed by Monstro the Whale! Ah. But don't you worry about that, guys, because when Monstro here decided to swallow Pinocchio, Pinocchio was bright enough to find a little fire in here, causing Monstro to sneeze. And oh boy, did he sneeze. As a matter of fact, Monstro sneezed so hard that he lost his tail! Giving us our very own special entrance into Story Book Land. Oh, wow. Now, as we round this bend here on our left hand side, you'll notice the cave with a big uh, bowl. Or, like, crack, not pretty fun, kind of from these three little pigs. We got one house made of strong, one made of sticks, and one made of wolf goose bricks. <laughs> Now through this archway here, and on our left hand side, you'll notice a quaint little village. This is in fact the village where Alice from Alice in Wonderland lives. You can find her house over yonder, where you can follow that cobblestone path, where she chased the white rabbit down, down, down the rabbit hole and into Wonderland. Meanwhile, here on our right is our London Park, which may look familiar to some of you lost boys and girls. As it's the same park that Peter Pan and Tinkerbell took John, Michael, and Wendy Darling over as they taught them how to fly off to Never Never Land. And right there in front of us is the magnificent city of Agrabah, where you can see the Royal Fulton's Palace sitting on top of the hill in all of its glory as it overlooks the marketplace for Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. Gem mine where you can hear them whistle as they work. And if you were to take a peek to your left here, you'll notice the chateau that Cinderella stayed in with her evil stepmother and her two wicked stepsisters. But you can follow that winding path up through the French village. We're about halfway up. Right there on that bridge, you'll see her carriage gone pumpkin that she took all the way to the top of the dream castle, where she now lives happily ever after. And here on our left hand side is our giant patchwork quilt. It was made famous in the Disney Silly Symphony in Lullaby Land. It's comprised entirely out of several different kinds of desert plants. And in case any of you were wondering, all of the plants here in Storybook Land are indeed real. They grow just under one inch every year. And they're kept that way through a magical process known only to Tinkerbell. <laughs> now through this archway here and on our left hand side, right there at the base of that tree, you'll spot the humble abode of modest Mr. Mole. Where he lives next to his best friend, Mr. Toad, who's right next door to Toad Hall. Unfortunately, you won't be able to find either of them out right now. They're both off to Fantasyland on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. And here on our left is our three Dutch windmills. The one in the center there was made famous in the Disney short, The Old Mill. 
for sheltering the animals during quite the winter storm. And in front of us, soon to be on our right, is our Alpine Village, where Pinocchio and Geppetto live. You can see Geppetto's wood carving shop right there on the edge of the water, where Pinocchio began his daring journey towards becoming a Now through this tunnel here on our right hand side, you'll find the Harriet ship. Docked on the beach where Harriet took her first steps off the land. Right in front of the castle where they live happily ever after. And if you were to take a peek to your left here through this waterfall, you just might spot King Triton's palace. Where Ariel grew up with her two best friends, Sebastian and Flounder. Now, folks, as our journey through Storybook Land is coming to a close, I'd like to remind you again to please remain seated with your hands on the feet that are at all times. But I'd also like to take this time to thank you all very much for joining us today. We're going to have a wonderful day here at Disneyland. And like all good Storybook endings, we hope you have a happy ever. The yeah. All righty, guys, please remain seated for me until the count of three. One of you all stand up together, okay? Watch your hands, arms, and yourselves on the dock. One, two, three, group hug! Wait, Eddie, wait, wait. All right, guys, go next to your left hand side towards the waterfall. Left hand side, watch your step. Watch your step.